morning. It's Dwayne from LNL Distribution at Help With Your Crib. Help With A Car. JR Management LLC.com. Give us a call at air code 937-215-4388 or 313-728-4404. You can check us out at Help With Your Crib. Help With A Car. JR Management LLC.com. Alright guys, you know, happy Monday. It is the first, <laughs> first of October 2018. And, uh, you know, it's fucking raining out here. It's, it's fucked up. But, you know, I just had some, you know, I had some thoughts on my mind, you know, for, you know, calling it Motivational Monday. And, you know, one tip that I want to give to you guys is, you know, and I always said to folks as far as motivating is, you know, people are not always going to agree with what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you, you're going to have those haters. You know, they're going to, you know, to, to do any and everything to fuck your shit up. To make sure you don't win. And it's like, when you recognize the motherfuckers that's, that's making, that's, that's, you know, throwing salt in your game or, you know, throwing shade on you. You got to cut them motherfuckers off. And I don't give a fuck if it's a, your mother, your cousin, your brother, man. Everybody that's in your circle, they should be trying to see you win. Period. You know, I don't give a fuck if it's a partner, if it's a CEO, and you guys are partners. You know, you guys, as far as a business, you guys better work together and make things happen, and both y'all ideas should come to life. It should never be just a one-way street, you know, in any type of relationship, whether it's business or personal. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the end game should be for both y'all to win, you know? I mean, we've said this, and I've said this a lot of times, quit playing games and play the game, okay? You know, that's what we playing in life. It's, it's ain't nothing but a game. But you got to teach motherfuckers how to play your game. You understand what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers is going to play my motherfucking game and I don't give a fuck. But you, got, but you guys got to stop letting people run over you. Oh, it's alright. No, that shit ain't alright. They just fucked you out of whatever they fucked you out of. So quit, so quit letting people fuck you over. And you know they fucking you over. Don't wait until at the end that you figure out, damn, they just fuck you. You know they fuck you. And stay away from the motherfuckers that, that ain't trying to see you win. You know? If they see you down, they want to keep you down. Or they want to keep you to a certain point. They don't want you to get to a higher level. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that, that shit goes with personal goals with business. You know, I've had motherfuckers that I've worked with that, you know, was, you know, at a higher level, but... I seen to a point that they, they didn't want to see me get anywhere closer to their level. But it don't fucking matter because I end up I ended up at their motherfucking level anyway. Without they punk ass. So, you know, that goes out to all the haters. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have them and it could be family, it could be friends. Man, the shit's sad. But you gotta learn how to recognize and discern who on your team and who's not. You know what I'm saying? And quit and quit this motherfucking pity party. Oh my god, I got screwed. I'm so fucked. Okay, get up, brush it off, and get the fuck on. Cut that motherfucker off that fucked you and get the fuck on. Because obviously they don't mean you no fucking good. You know what I mean, motherfuckers? I done cut off. I done had motherfuckers try to talk to my girl. I done had motherfuckers, you know, try to talk shit to my clients. I mean, all kinds of shit. But you know what? Still dealing with those people. And you know what? That's because they know the type of person I am. And the type of character I am. So, you know, build your character and being strong and being yourself. You know what I'm saying? And if motherfuckers can't accept you for who the fuck you are, then they need to get the fuck on. You see what I'm saying? Because this is me. Yeah, I've had a dirty, foul-ass motherfucking mouth since 2008. I got about 700 motherfucking videos of my black-ass cussing. And I don't give a fuck. And you know what? Huh. This company, l, &L Distribution, we don't just have a motherfucking fan base, bitch. You know, I heard somebody talking shit about, you know, us have, you know, doing a show out of, out of state, you know, in their in area. And, uh... You know, the people was talking about, well, no, they can't bring, he can't bring JR Management crew down, you know, they're here because they don't have a band base. Who the fuck said we didn't? Huh? Shit, we don't have just a motherfucking fan base, bitch. We got a client base and a customer base. So you got to work on all three when it comes to business. 
But you see how motherfuckers will sneak dish your ass? <laughs> I've been in this game too fucking long to let somebody talk shit. And it's like the motherfuckers that's talking shit, they ain't got shit. Think about that. Now, if it's motherfuckers that's, you know, millionaires and it's talk shit, Dwayne, you need to boom, 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 boom. Okay, I get it. Yeah, yes, sir. Okay, I, I'm listening, sir. Yes, sir. But hmm, the millionaires, I know, I motherfucking know, they respect me as much as I respect them. They see how I get it because I learned from them. It's all a game, Dwayne. You got to play the game. Okay. And I'm playing this motherfucking game. So, don't let people get to you. Don't let nobody piss you off. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm giving you this video with passion because, you know, I've been, I am pissed off as of right now because of so many of my friends and family, you know, getting fucked over by their family or their friends that they thought was their friends. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they just want to see them to just a certain level, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to see them win. They don't want to see them do better. They just want them to be at that one point of misery because they miserable. And I think that shit is fucked up. It's fucked up. You could do you could do bad by your motherfucking self. So you know what? That's why I'm by my motherfucking self. Running this motherfucking company. Can't nobody tell me shit about my shit. So you got to keep that kind of attitude. You know what I'm saying? Stay motivated. When a motherfucker trying to kick you down, that should just motivate you more to get the fuck back up. Especially when you knew the bastard kicked you down. You already know. Cut them hoes off. Why the fuck? Don't call me. Well, what should I do? I got this. I got this. Cut them off. Because you know what? Motherfucker forgot one time to fuck me. I don't give no motherfuckers no three motherfucking strikes. That three, that three strikes shit will get you caught up and fucked up. Or broke or, or bankrupt. You know? Yeah, you get to a certain extent, you gotta put your wall down and you gotta give people a chance. But you can't, you know, give motherfuckers chances after chances after chances. You know what I'm saying? It's only to a certain extent. That goes with clients. Again, that goes with friends. That goes with, you know, whoever. You know, family, they always gonna be family. I love my family, by the way. You know, because we stick together. We all we got. So why the fuck we gonna fuck each other? But you know, you got family out there that will sneak this on you and fuck you over and don't see, don't want to see you do better. So my, my, again, my advice to, you know, my friends and, you know, all my Facebook friends and, you know, our clients and our, you know, our, our fans, which we do have fans, um, worry about you know and quit worrying about what everybody's thinking of you that's something else you know you gotta wake up every morning and think okay damn what the fuck can I do today what can I do better what can you do better today fuck yesterday fuck what a motherfucker said about you last year or what the fuck you did last year it's 18 this motherfucking year almost over but you still got a chance to get your shit together today today you know what I'm saying? I think every day I get my black ass up. Okay, what am I going to do today? Who am I going to help today? What can I do to make the company better? You know? What can I do for my for my employees and you know and for my crew to make them better? That's a true leader. That's what, you know, that's what it's about. What you could do for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not ranting. But this just be shit on my mind, you know what I'm saying? And I, you know, I, I feel for my, you know, for my friends, and you know, that it does reach out to me, you know, as as counsel, you know, that's what I, you know, that's my job. You know, I'm not just a manager, you know, I, I'm a, I gotta listen and see what my clients, you know, needs are, you know, because my job is to make, you know, that person's life, my client's life easier. And that's your job, is to make people's life easier. Not give them a fucking hard time. And this shit goes to the haters, too. Quit giving motherfuckers a hard time. You know, if you ain't giving them a solution, or you're not insisting in the solution, then there's no need for you to even talk shit. Especially if you ain't doing better than the motherfucker you're talking shit to. Or about. So. I'm just rolling in this motherfucking rain, man. Yeah, you know. 
I woke up like this. But you know what? It just it just drives me more to do better, and it drives me to help me to drive you to do better. You know, we don't got over a million views on our YouTube for nothing. Obviously, so I'm doing something right. So you know, this was all you know. This came from the heart, and um, you know what I'm saying. This, this shit was on my mind. I just felt this is something that they need to be spoken and need to be shared with you guys. So. Happy Monday. I hope you guys have a great, a great fucking day. Don't let nobody bring you down. You know, don't let no, you know, don't let nobody sneak this. If they sneak this in you, cut them. You feel me? Cut them. That's it, man. That's it. I'm going to keep it moving with this, with this motherfucking rain and, you know, get my day, you know, keep my day in, in play, but... I just want to take a couple minutes out of my day and my time to share my thoughts with you and hopefully motivate you today to do better. It's not too late. The day ain't over yet. You still do better. Yeah? That's what's up. You know, and I'm, 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 I'm here to serve you. And that's what I do. This is Dwayne for l and Distribution at Up At Your Crib. Help with a car. <laughs> JR Management LLC dot com. Give us a call at area code 937-215-4388 or 313-728-4404. Or you can check us out at Help With Your Crib, Help With A Car, JR Management LLC dot com. Alright man, that's it.